Hi, this is Tom Grush from Grush's Lawn Service. I'm here with our 2013 Ford F-350 crew cab work pickup truck. So for the first three years, we've run the air conditioner in this truck. We come to find out two weeks ago that this is the evaporator for the air conditioner. See how plugged up and everything it is? So it wouldn't let the air properly throw, flow through it. So we had it been there in December of uh, 2015 for the same problem, told them what was wrong. They, they didn't realize what was wrong with it or anything. So we took it back to the dealership two weeks ago here in June, had it looked at. They come back and said that what happened is, is when the truck is on maximum AC and recirculating the cool air in there, it sucks the dirt and particles up out of the truck and blocks this evaporator. There's no air filter in this 2013 cab filter. So they told us the recommendation is is not to turn the air conditioner on max. Now I want to ask you something. Ford Motor Company, does this make sense? Not to turn your air so why did we put a, a maximum AC in the truck? And then they also told us to make sure that we clean ourselves off before we get in the truck. Now I was honest with them when I bought the truck. I bought a, a, tr a work truck for the lawn service, so I'm into landscaping and lawn. I don't have time to stand outside my truck and clean my clothes off and my crew's clothes off every time before we get in the truck. Ford Motor Company engineers did not make an in-cab filter for this truck. Why? I don't know. I can't get Ford to answer it. I'm not asking the dealership to eat this responsibility. It's not their fault. They didn't manufacture their truck, but Ford Motor Company did. So somewhere along the line, Ford's got to make this right somewhere. This is about a $1,400 repair. Every three years, $1,400 to do this. Or not run the air conditioner on max when it's 90-some degrees outside. This doesn't make sense. The other four trucks I have have in-cab in air filters. So this Ford needs to really look at this seriously because nobody's going to want to pay $1,300 to have this evaporator for their air conditioner repaired. This is Tom Grush from Grush's Lawn Service. Have a wonderful day. Bye.